Okay, so here we have this piggy bank. Can't remember where exactly I got this, but uh, yeah, it's quite literally a bank that is in fact a pig, hence their fourth piggy bank. But you see, there's one issue with it. You probably can't see it from this angle, but uh, let me put it down for you. Yeah, see, that's a bit of a problem right there. Um, just a huge gaping hole. So, I need a bit of a replacement for all of my coins. I just, I, I spent quite a while trying to separate these pennies from all of my other coins. Uh, because, see, the interesting thing about pennies is that, uh, I'm not sure about anyone in America, but uh, here in Canada, uh, pennies were discontinued because... Uh, they were found to not be very economical to produce because it probably costs more to make these than it does to actually use them. Uh, but that being said, I need something to contain all of my coins. Uh, and of course, uh, hopefully it's something Nintendo related. And I think I might have found the perfect thing uh, right here. This is a coin block piggy bank. Um, it's got a nice solid aluminum feel to it. It's a good thing that it's not cheap plastic. Um, it's got the Super Mario logo here on the bottom. Looks kind of neat. Um, but then you've got this little sticker here. Question block money box makes official coin sound. And that was, uh, that was probably the main reason why I got this piggy bank. Um, and see, I also have this light here, which, uh, when you turn it on, not sure if you heard that, but, uh, that's the Game Boy startup sound. But anyway, um, this makes the official coin sound, uh, from the new Super Mario Brothers games. Uh, there's little that little metal prong uh, that you can see right there is uh, essentially the trigger. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's see how this works. Just gotta get my camera to focus. Okay, let me uh, let me do that again. Except this time the microphone will be closer up to uh, this time the microphone will be up close to where the uh, trigger is. Okay. You hear that? Uh. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It uh, specifically, as previously mentioned, it specifically uh, makes the sound from the new Super Mario Brothers games, which I think is pretty neat. I mean, I would have preferred if it made the sound from, like, the original Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Now, that would have been cool. Um, and it would have also been cool if it was uh, the 8-bit question block, but, uh, you know, this is really neat as well. I'm glad that it's not cheap plastic. Um, aside from the fact that uh, it would, I think it would have been cooler if this were the 8-bit one and made the 8-bit coin sound, uh, I do have two other small complaints, but they're more so nitpicks. Uh, one of them is that... Uh, if you have a small coin here, such as a dime, uh, for any of my non-Canadian uh, viewers, uh, in case you're not familiar with uh, this type of currency, uh, a dime is 10 cents. Um, but anyway, 
a small coin like this might not uh, always hit the trigger, or it might, but it might not hit it properly. Um, and that was a terrible demonstration. There's been a few times off camera where it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, just completely misses it. Um, so if you really want to test this out, then you want to use a big coin, such as a loonie or a toonie. Uh, these are essentially uh, $1 and $2. Uh, yeah. So uh, the only other complaint that I have with this is that uh, because of the aluminum, uh, you might not always be able to hear the coin sound. Uh, over the sound of uh, the over the sound of whatever coin you're dropping in there hitting the bottom of the bank it does become easier to hear the more coins you put in there because then those coins start absorbing the sound a bit but uh, yeah overall I think it's pretty neat so, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Um, and happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadian viewers. And happy early Independence Day to uh, my American viewers, because I know that uh, both of those are coming up within the next few days. So, yeah. Bye.